Hello, Maurice Demba is my name. Welcome to this presentation. Today we are going to model a simple gas station or fuel station structure or a canopy. Let's kick off here by going straight to modifying our grid here. Double click on this grid. Double click on this grid. X will start from zero two by fifty five hundred two by fifty five hundred that works best. Now we go to Y. Why we just leave it at zero? On uh, on Z axis, we'll feed six meters by sixty-two hundred. On labels, we'll give it a ABC. On Y axis, we'll give it one. It'll be good for us. For now, we'll delete that. We'll have of second first height six meters our second height will be 60 6200 that's fine we'll do away with the seven meters we are good to go we'll go ahead and click modify we'll accept this close this we'll have this next is to create views for our model we'll click on this and right click come to create grid view create views along grid lines click that now from here we'll create views click create we'll pick first grid 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 a i mean grid one then grid a the three are most important to us we'll close this you can check them here if you click this arrow under window now we'll switch back to isometric view now we'll go straight to steel to create our columns click there right click double click on this come to profile we'll change we'll modify or, or replace or change the profile to our preference now we'll pick ipe 400 modify that come to position our column must start from zero level our height was six meters six meters six meters you can, you can check that six now we need to rotate this double click that come to back that's all copy this by clicking and right click P bring it here that's all next is to create our canopy we'll come to window we'll come to grid a the grid a will come to steel steel beam start from this spot direct it here but don't click length of our canopy will be five meters but the profile will change we'll come to ipe here ipe is just uh a BS standard of uh, uh, of beams and a beam type. Now we'll pick we'll pick to seventy to seventy. Click OK. We'll select that. Right click. 
come to special copy mirror from here and there and click OK expand right click click on the window click this click this right click move point it on a straight point want to move them down by 200 millimeter perfect now we'll switch back to our 3d we copy that press control copy that right click copy bring it here expand right click that's all now want to create a beam here that will reinforce this that will reinforce the two will come to beam click that from this edge that center to this center we'll put a beam here put a beam there but this beam will go down go down by 200 millimeter just click move we'll go down by 200 millimeter just point it here 200 millimeter that's better check the profile type it's IPE 270 want to make it 300 Put it 300, apply that, modify that. Now click this, press control, click that, right click copy from here to middle here. That much better. This was 270. Extend this to meet this center beam. We'll come to position negative 600 not 600 negative 300 that apply that double click that come to position negative 300 wrong that of doing the same thing just come here and mirror that. Snap it down here. Click copy. If done, it's better. But this should not worry, you will create a connection and plate connection there. The end plate connection there. That shouldn't be an issue. Come navigation, click there, rotate. Now next is placement of pallets. You come to view, come to our plane tool, click here. Come to navigate, rotate this. Rotate that, right click, interrupt that, rotate that, now come to steel, steel beam, Pick this from the center here. Need some guidance here. We come to points. We come to points here. Click that and click here. Close that. Come to points. Come to any position. Click that spot and this spot. Are you seeing any points? You should see. Right click copy. 
copy that, place it there. Now highlight that, press control, highlight that, highlight that, right click, copy. Pick it from this spot, run to the other end. Click on a straight line there. Perfect. Now come to steel, steel beam, pick from this spot and bring it all the way to this end. that end. Double click this to change the profile. Come to steel, steel sections. So I highlight C. Under C section we'll pick 140 by 20. Apply that. Apply that. But don't click OK. Want to bring this on top apply that apply that now want to bring it on the left on the right that right that is the maximum it can protrude now we'll apply that but now highlight this, right click, click move. From that spot, direct your, your direction. Give it 100. Double click that, position, behind, middle. undo something done wrong shouldn't behave like that right click move snap in the middle here just point your cursor there and type 100 apply and accept that We'll click this, bring all this to zero. Click that, click copy. from that spot to this spot rotate this and check the midpoint there the meeting right in the middle which is good that this is much better now next thing is want this to protrude slightly outward by 600 not really bring that to zero by 600 negative 600 that's too much 200 is okay 300 is okay perfect on the other end we'll do the same thing we'll click on this and go to position negative 300 negative 300 is okay apply that now, we don't need the points, right, uh, right click on the screen and redraw. Come to navigate, rotate with mouse, click there and, and turn it round. Now 
let's do some cleats there cleats click inside here Palin, let's type Palin. Called rolled. Let's scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. There. Click that, click that. Not better, not good. This and this. good for us much better click that this 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 and that Just move on. The rest you uh, learn by yourself. Perfect. Click that. Main member. This. Now, 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 now. You want to select that. You want to copy all this. But before we do that, we have to. Our, our axis is in the best position and direction. Right click, special copy, linear, one meter. We need four of this. We'll copy that. Perfect, but we still need Palin close to the very edge here. Click that. Press Control. Click that. Right click. Special copy. Linear. But no, this time round we will not offset with a meter. We'll try 600. But this time round not 4, but 1. Click. Accept that. Right click. Click on the screen, right click and redraw. Come to view, click view, come to navigate, rotate with mouse. Pick a point you want to rotate this model about. We want to rotate it about this point. This point. Perfect. Now we want to do the same the other side. We'll select all this, all this, all this. This thing should not shock you. You can click on it, this cube, that's it. You can change the color of, of the steel member can select here any color I know it has been disturbing you it, it follows your your cursor in every direction press control click that no that's wrong 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 member click this click that click that now we go to 
view work plane work plane tool we'll place our work plane tool here right in this corner there right click interrupt that now right click mirror mirror we want to mirror this click that and click this at this point make sure it's exactly at the edge right there Are you seeing anything? Copy. We've done a duplicate, which is not right. Delete. Clear that. Cancel that. Right click. This shall copy mirror. From this spot to this spot. Accept that. Perfect. Come to navigate, click that, and ro and rotate this. Click this. That and that. This and this. This and this. This and that. This and this. And this. This and this. And press your middle button. And press your middle button. Click the main and click the second one as a, as a secondary part. And then press your middle button. Our connections disappeared because we mirrored, but uh, our mirror came to the same same position. Now the joints were rejected. Now we have, we have to create those those joints again. One, click there, this and this, then mid button, this and that, then mid button. Since this structure is not that big, we'll just do them individually. Click this, this and that. This the main point, the main the main part, then the, the secondary parts. Just move on. This main part. We go here. Then here. Then here, then here, this is the final one for the upper side. This, that and that, this, that and that. This one, this and that. This, that and that. You press your middle button. Once you've selected the main part, then the secondary part. Then you press your middle button. Click 
click that and this then middle button this and this then middle button right click I want to see the other parts right click come there click this click that click this this and this then middle button we are done with that then here it's quite simple we'll, we'll select everything even the down one the down ones also will be selected and mirrored the other side of the canopy click all this carefully without picking unwanted member I assume, I assume that everything has been picked or highlighted now we'll come to navigate to check just to check which part have we left we found one we'll click that now prior to mirroring we have to reorient our, our work plan tool now we'll come to view we'll come to work plan tool click pick work plan tool place it here right click interrupt that that's wrong orientation just place it here or anywhere or anywhere that's okay for us now we'll right click interrupt that right click special copy mirror zoom closer midpoint here then direct it to a straight snap point we'll snap it there then just come and copy okay zoom out to check what you've done perfectly done click on the screen right click and redraw navigate and rotate this perfectly done turn this round next thing is to, to put our end plates come here end plate end plate end plate click there simple is not really working better for us we'll do end plate 101 pick main point main member and secondary member double click on the joint m20 standard 8.8 x or x threads site assembly 50 four bolts at 75 modify that we'll bring it that joint in the center perfect apply this then come to navigate under view click on that point and turn this round it's sitting well we'll do the same here this and this we'll do the same here this and that this and that this and this this and that come to navigate rotate this 
view what you've done perfect on top here we need a cup plate just type cup just type cup pick that couplet detail and uh, pick on this mid mid midpoint of this beam rotate this click on that point and turn this turn this round click on that weld to remove it out double click on this to increase the thickness of the plate you can give it 16 millimeter thick there's no need of entering this because it picks the size of the beam by default undo that and check what you've done wrong here apply that perfect come here and do the same thing here click that click yes midpoint click on the well weld remove the weld click out uh, click on the screen right click and redraw click on these welds we don't need them click on that weld we don't need them perfect next before we go to to sheet placement now we'll come to edit we'll come to online we'll click on this end and this end to get the midpoint of the beam that is the midpoint of the beam we'll close that come to online pick any position that is the midpoint now confirm or check the distance between that spot that spot and this spot check this here is 135 we need we need 200 overlap now from this from uh, from under edit uh, under edit we go to points under points will come to along extension of two points click there and click on that midpoint J just point your cursor at the, uh, on the other end on the other end on the other end of the point the other end of the point and type 335 because it's 200 this 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 135 plus 200 will give us 235 we'll type 2 we have 335 and enter right click close that we have our point there now we we want a mirror of this we'll click this right click copy pick it from that spot and bring it here we have a copy that side now at this edge come to that spot any position click this end perfect come to any position click this click that click this three click that and click that right click copy and copy them down there this will help us to get the accurate measurement from here to this edge now we'll measure this from that spot to this spot that is 337 
Now what we are going to do is quite simple. We'll click this, right click, click that, click that, right click, copy. But before we copy, we need to confirm our, our length, this length here, from that spot to this spot. 367.5, 367.5. Now, highlight that, highlight this, and highlight this. Right click, copy. that and that just direct it there 367.5 367.5 and click ok it has been copied that end right click then next thing you're going to do is so we'll highlight all this by pressing Control. Click that, click this, click that, and click that point. Right click and copy. But before we do that, we have to locate the midpoint of this, of this beam. We'll come to edit, we'll come to any position points. We'll click on top of this beam, midpoint, and midpoint of this bottom end. Not right. We picked any position which will not help us at all. Delete. Come to that end online. That top end midpoint and this bottom end midpoint of this beam. Our midpoint is located there which is very important to us. Now we want to pick all this, press control, pick this, pick that and pick this and pick that one. Right click and copy. Copy it from this spot, run all the way to the midpoint of this beam. Place it there. You'll see your offset that end. But one thing, I thought we've done something wrong. Now we'll come to steel, we'll come to plate. We'll click this. We'll click that. We'll click this and click this. We'll run all the way to this end and click that and link it up with the our first point. We we'll create a plate there, a very thin sheet. Double click on it, it must be six millimeter. Modify that, apply and accept. Perfect. Click this. Check your axis sitting well for our mirror command. Right click, go to special copy, come to mirror. Want to mirror it from this end. This will be our mirror line. Click that and snap down there. Click copy and accept. We have another one, this end. Come to view, under view, click navigate, rotate with mouse, click that point and turn this round. Perfect. 
perfect perfect next thing we are going to do is to create another sheet on this end we'll come to to edit we'll come to edit any position click that and click this just click this press control and click that copy take it to the other end which is not right not this end but here then come to points come to online click there get midpoint of this turn this round perfect but we need to be, very, to be very very much accurate in doing this very accurate in doing this now we need a guidance here we'll come to view work plane we place a work plane here there we'll come here interrupt that we'll come to this right click special copy linear we'll copy this for for 4.5 meters one click that and accept click this, this again right click click here down here and direct it on the same direction by by 600 600 is a lot we'll give it 400 perfect that is better much 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 better it will sit there no we need to offset it once again and uh, move it from that spot to this spot 600 bring it back right click move that and give it 500 we're doing this just for guidance in placing our that's better this is much better now next is we'll come to edit come to any position we we'll click we will click that and click this end perfect we don't need this we need the points that point and the other point down there we'll come to steel we'll come to plate we'll start from that spot and come down here and run all the way to this end and link it up with the top end 
and come to our initial point here to connect our plate. Double click on this, come down here and give it uh, behind. Perfect. Now we want to mirror this, but before you mirror, check the spot of your axis. Come to view, come to work plane tool and place it down there. Right click and interrupt, interrupting just to disconnect that command. Right click, you click on that part, right click and special copy come to mirror. Under mirror, we want to place our mirror line here. Want to use this part and that midpoint down there as our mirror line. Click copy and accept. We have mirrored this, but we need to link up some spots here, some edges here. Come to steel, come to plate. Click this point and click this point here to create a plate there or uh, a sheet metal there. Click this and click this. Connect up your points to create a decent sheet. Double click on this, come to position, right click, give it front, apply that. I think that's much better. Then this will be weld. You can, you can just come on weld, create weld to part this part and this part, this part and this part. A weld has been created. Just click there, this, and pick the polygon position. Weld has been created. Now click that, click that, click that. We want to mirror this on the other end. But uh, there's no need of mirroring, you can use this point. This A and B position. A and A and C position, right click, copy from this position and that position. Right click and interrupt that. Not 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 perfect now undo that come to view navigation click there and turn this round right click select that press control select this press control and select that right click copy special copy mirror come here and pick the midpoint of this, click that end and click this end. And keep in mind that we've not checked our work plane, which will make what we're doing be useless. Press escape, close this, come to view, come to work plane tool, place your work plane tool here right at this edge, right click and disable that command. Our parts are still highlighted, right click and come, right click, no, click on the screen to disable that command, click on that, click on this, right click, special copy, mirror, pick the midpoint of this sheet that and round down to the next midpoint which is this port click that and click copy accept that perfect there you are close this now we can do away with our 
points we need them no longer we don't need them any more right click and redraw they're gone come to navigate click on that spot and turn this around we'll come down here for our we don't need this for our pad footing come to concrete come to footing click pad footing click down here expand you can adjust the size of pad footing by double clicking on it 1.5 by 1.5 is quite okay just apply that now we'll come to column come to column click that and come to column place a column there double click on this come to position change this to 500 500 is too big change this to, uh, probably 500 is much better 500 apply this double click on that bring it down to 300 apply that we want the bottom end of our column zero perfect double click on this to change the size of the column come to position attributes change this leave it at 400 and change this to 500 apply that base plate base plate we we'll pick the first one and place it there perfect now double click on this apply so that when you come back and click that and select the other end of the column it will pick the first setting as default then just click there and place it there come to view we want to rotate this come to pad footing under concrete pad footing click there come to column place your column there come to view come to nav navigate click on that spot and turn this round but our column orientation is very 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 bad double click on that come to position and rotate this to back back apply uh, below sitting well for us that's better and better There you are. Now we want to place our iron sheets. Our iron sheets a high uh, length should be ending somewhere here because midpoint here will place a gutter that will be directing water to this and uh, there is a, a draining pipe for gutter will be directed along this column down here and that water will, will be directed somewhere now it depends on how the station drainage system will be designed that is the place that uh, water from this end will be directed to but it is not good or wise to see all those this should be hidden along with this and covered with the plate which we will do that if not now next episode but let's place that 
those sheets we'll come to steel we come to steel beam view come to work plane we just place it here come to steel come to steel beam we place our steel beam here from that spot running down just come to view come to navigate pick on that spot and turn this round we want to place our beam our that to be our end point of our beam double click this and adjunctions bring this closer come to position and bring this to zero this is the reason why you are, you are seeing that extension there we'll close this turn this round turn this round profile which our sheets will take let's turn this round turn this round turn this round like this thanks for watching let's me meet thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, if you have any question just put it down on the com on the comments provision and uh, i'll be happy and uh, i'll be able to respond back positively if you have any problem now thanks a lot and don't forget to subscribe to this channel i'm maurice dimba keep watching this channel for best tutorial of tecla thank you